following. I'm totally fine. Today we're going to talk about knots and hitches. We're going to learn the clove hitch. Clove hitch is not a knot, don't call it a knot. But it is a really important hitch for your climbing knees. Um, the clove hitch can be used in a lot of different scenarios. The main one is hooking into an anchor when you get to a, a point on the wall that you need to secure yourself. You need to secure yourself quickly. Let's say there's a big cliff here, my lead's up there, I'm seconding, got to the anchor. I gotta tie in, I'm tired, just finished. Here I am, oh man. Okay, so let's clove in really fast here. Boom, clove in, one-handed, super fast. What I see in a lot of training is people trying to teach the clove hitch out here like this, right? You can do that, but see where I'm standing? I'm, if I'm up on the wall, I'm hanging on, I gotta be able to do this fast and I gotta do it one-handed. That's why this method is the best method to tie your clove hitch. No messing around. You can always do it this way if you need to, but like, okay, clip in right there, you're good. However, you can use the same method out in the air to do it. So I recommend everybody learn this way, and that way when you're on the wall, you can always do it one-handed. Easy peasy. Okay, ready? So I'm gonna show you in slow motion how we do this. You're gonna reach out, grab a length of rope that's tied to your harness, like you're shaking somebody's hand. And then you're just gonna flip it back towards yourself and clip it in. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing. Grab the length of rope that's coming out of the beaner, not between you and the beaner. Bring it in front, same side. So if I'm right-handed, it's gonna be on the right hand of the rope. Turn it into you, clip it in. There's a clove hitch. Okay, so now you know how to tie it, but let's learn how to use it. So this thing is beautiful because it's super adjustable. All I have to do is slide the rope through it and I can lengthen this out. I don't have to use my personal pro here to clip into this. If I've got a rope, it's so much faster and easier and more convenient to use your rope because now I've got a totally adjustable tether and if I'm here and I cinch this down tight enough, let's say, okay, I'm gonna lock this, always lock your beanage. Um, let's say I am standing here on the edge of this cliff. Maybe I'm belaying my lead up there. Um, so if I fall right here, let's say a wind gust comes or a rattlesnake jumps out of this crack in the wall. If I fall, falling, I'm totally fine because I'm tethered in. And you can make it short so there's not a lot of low, there's not a big dynamic fall that you could take on your personal pro. Here's the other cool thing about the hitch. When you're done with it, most of the time, you can just slide it right off the beaner. I've got an HMS beaner. Some beaners that doesn't work as well. I do you recommend using a big HMS pair beaner to tie this into? Um, let me give you one more hint on this. So the load side, which right now is me, is against the spine. That's a more secure way to tie this thing. Another tip here with the hitch, there's only really one way, well, I guess there's a couple ways, but there's only one really easy way to screw this up. Um, and that's to tie the wrong hitch. It's to tie a different hitch called the Munter hitch. You can do that if you forget to flip it back in, if you just hook it like that, then you're gonna tie what's called a Munter hitch, and there's your Munter hitch right there. And the reason you do not want the Munter hitch in this application is because it slides, it's meant to slide. We'll talk about that in a different lesson. 
don't tie the mustard hitch. If you do, you'll know it if you weight this thing because your rope will just slide right through. So, clove hitch. Ready? Tie it really fast. I want you to practice this as much as you can until you get it smooth and easy. So you can get up to the, the wall when you're hanging on right here. Tie it really fast and really easy. You don't have to mess around with two hands or whatever. So do that. Maybe even practice this. I don't recommend this on the wall, but it's good practice for the motion. Eyes closed, ready? Eyes closed, Pull the pitch. Got it. Like I said, probably not a good idea to do on the wall, but good for practicing so that you can get that motion down, fluid and easy, and you'll be fast and efficient and safe on the wall. So that's our lesson today for the clove hitch. Join us again for more knots and hitches. We'll go over all different knots and hitches that you're gonna need for climbing, but primarily the really important ones. Uh, check out our other videos and come finish all the lessons with us and we'll teach you everything you need to know to get up there and climb safely and securely. So subscribe to our channel to learn more about not only climbing, but all sorts of other adventures. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, enjoy.